it's not how hard you get hit. It's how hard you can get hit. And keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. One of the most iconic moments in film history took place right here. Rocky Balboa running up the steps. Now it's my turn to step up to the plate and take my shot at it. Hello everyone, I am Tampa Jay and welcome to Philadelphia. I have traveled here today to make my own personal Rocky pilgrimage. And of course, I'm taking you with me. The Rocky filming locations is something that has been done many of times. There are so many fans of this movie, just like me, and just like you. But this is my go at it. It is my turn to go the distance. It is my turn to, to go out here and have some fun and pay tribute to one of the greatest movies of all time. One of the most inspirational films of my lifetime. Growing up playing sports, I always had the Rocky soundtrack in my ears to get me pumped before every game. Or if you ever saw me running out in the streets and I had earbuds in my ears, guaranteed it was the Rocky soundtrack. I believe I have found a couple filming locations that no one has shown before. It took some digging, so let's see. Let's check it out. Maybe you've seen them before. I don't know. But I don't think you've seen them. Thanks for joining me, everyone. This one is for all those little people out there that are tired of getting put down. Keep your head up. Keep fighting the good fight. And keep on punching. Just like there is here today in Philadelphia. Just know that there is much ahead. Welcome to East Kensington on North Front Street in the northeast part of Philadelphia. And I am standing exactly where Adrian's pet shop used to be. It's been torn down, but this is the first scene that you actually see the streets of Philadelphia. How cool is it that the Rocky logo was actually painted upon that fire hydrant in the credits of the movie? And right here is the actual fire hydrant that you see in the movie, it's still here. And if you look here on the sidewalk, you can see where the access to the cellar used to be, to the basement, and the steps would have been right here in the front window with the puppies, right there. The fire hydrant and this building is still identifiable. If you look at this pole right here at the edge of this brick building, and even this wall even lines up right next to Sylvester Stallone there, right next to Rocky. Rocky is giving Adrian a hard time actually just trying to strike up a conversation you can clearly see the windows of Mickey's gym in the background, and that is the actual gym. And that will be our next Rocky filming location. Welcome to 2147 North Front Street, Mickey's gym, where Rocky trade. And the first time you see Mickey's gym is right here. And I'm trying to match up the shot. And there we are, my friends. What a piece of film history right here, where Rocky trained to fight Apollo Creed back in 1976. Here's a shot of the scene when you first see Rocky walk into Mickey's gym. And if you look here on the wall, you see a missing brick. Right there, you see that black void? Well, that brick is still missing today. Check it out. It's right there. And this is the entrance to Mickey's gym. I believe there would have been a staircase. But who knows, the actual interior scenes of Mickey's gym was filmed in Los Angeles, but this is the building right here, and I can I can still imagine Mighty Mix sign right there. And all the scenes filmed around this corner, you can always hear the train, and, and of course, I've heard the train <laughs> several times since I've been standing here. Very cool to be here in Philly at Mickey's gym. Now we might have some issues with this next filming location, because it looks like it's under construction. I'm gonna walk down into this construction site. Here's a stretch of that iron fence from Rocky. What's left of it? Still in line here, most of it piled up right there. Looks like a new building is being constructed. And there's the bridge, the train bridge in the background, and the pedestrian bridge. I think it's long gone, but there's a scene where you see Rocky right before he meets up with Gazzo, but he's right up there. Yeah, so this is going right where the scene takes place. I'm walking into this construction site. This is where Gazzo's car would have parked, where this rebar is, but too bad, it's all torn up and the shipping container is sitting right where 
Rocky and Gaza went across the street and that big cat right there is where the steps were. This used to be a U-Haul, but I guess they sold the property and now they're making it into some kind of apartment building. But dang, I really tried guys. I better get out of this construction site. Rocky would have walked right up the street here. Right there. The scene would have took place a little further down the street, but that is the same stretch of fence right there. I guess I'll have to come back in a couple years after the construction's done and see what's left of this street in the exact spot where Rocky met with Gazo and he told him to make sure next time he breaks his thumb. I should have broke your thumb. Well, no time to stop now. We gotta keep digging. Keep fighting the good fight. The next filming location is not too far away, just across this bridge. A lot of construction going on, and a lot of deconstruction. A lot has changed since 1976 here in the Kensington neighborhood. It is cold out here, but I don't mind it, because I'm on my rocky pilgrimage. Ooh, the adrenaline is keeping me going. Welcome to Orm Street, the former location of the Lucky Seven Tavern. The first place we see Rocky help his friend there on the sidewalk there. He picks up a, a drunk guy and carries him into the bar. But this is also the first time we meet Polly inside the tavern. And obviously the bridge has been updated as well. 2822 Rose Hill Street. Adrian and Polly's apartment. Actually right here. Looks a lot different than it did in 1976. But if you check out the manhole cover in this building right here, you can see Rocky and Polly walking up the sidewalk. And there's Adrian's apartment, Polly's apartment. And that would have been the little alleyway that Polly would have threw out the turkey on Thanksgiving. But it's just around the corner from the tavern. Actually, it's one block over. All right, for our next filming location, it's time to take you back. Do 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 do, take you back. Do 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 do. And this is where Take You Back happened. Rocky walking up the sidewalk towards us and meets the take you back crew on the corner with that trash can that was helping them keep warm which would have been right there you can definitely pinpoint it because of the fire hydrant the warehouse building right there on the corner is long gone Rocky's brother Frank Stallone was part of that serenade right there actually that one right there and then later in the movie he pops out in between the alleyway that used to sit in between the apartments and the building that's long gone right here. Hey, it's the bum from the dock. Get a job, you bum. They made this into a corner park. Welcome to Tusculum Square. Treat this place like you would treat your home. Leave this space better than you found it. it looks like people aren't listening at all. There's trash everywhere as we journey up to Rocky's house. You see Rocky running up right here along the sidewalk to his apartment all the way at the end. And this still matches up pretty well. Hasn't changed much, just aged a lot. 1818 is still painted right there on the brick. Actually, it's faded away just a little bit. So many awesome moments right here in all of the entire Rocky saga. I always think of the scene when Adrian is wearing the red coat. Rocky runs, see Rocky jogging up the sidewalk here towards his apartment. And Adrian is waiting on the doorsteps with a surprise. Yo! Yo! Yo, you look great. Really? Oh yeah. Terrific. I mean, you could be a heartbreak. You walk down the street breaking hearts the way you're looking. Very sharp. I got another surprise for you. What? Hey, my kids! Hey, my kids! Come here, kid! Come here! I always wondered if 
Sylvester Stallone got a little sad filming the scenes with Buckus because he said that before the time of Rocky, he had to sell his dog because he couldn't afford to feed him. Those are these steps. We've seen Rocky run down and run up a hundred times, or at least I have, because that's how many times I've probably seen the movie. There's the spot where Rocky was stretching before his morning run. Okay, so do you remember in the beginning of the video where I said I believe I found a filming location that may have not been shown before, had to come south on Delaware Avenue alongside the Delaware to this little industrial area. The ship was docked right here and you see Rocky take the corner in front of the ship and in front of those guys. Do you see the pylons right in between the yellow barricades? I believe those are the same right in front of the Celio Resolute. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But this building here was key in finding this location. I searched up and down the Delaware River on Google Earth for a couple of days. That and the fact that when Rocky goes to collect on the transaction with a gentleman by the name of Bob, you can't see it from this view, but you can clearly see the Walt Whitman Bridge behind them, which would be beyond this chemical company. No parking anytime. And really it was those three little windows at the corner of the building up there that was the clue and the rest just fell into place. It sure did look rough back in 1976, but this building looks pretty rough now. Okay, so you see the building increase right here and there's a little ladder going up. Looks like to another level. Well, right there where the ship is and where Rocky's turning by that pylon, I can make out that ladder in that portion today. Okay, look really close. It's hard because of this fence, but it's right there, right there. Look really close. Look a little closer. Oh, it's starting to blur out, but there it is. That's the building, for sure. This is the dock scene from Rocky. There you go. I totally failed to notice until this moment <laughs> that I'm still Floridian. My rental car has a Florida tag. Man, I just can't fit in. Next time, plan ahead. You should have planned ahead. You should have planned ahead. That's what Rocky told Bob as he was walking back this way towards Philly. So just like my Ghostbusters 2 video in Manhattan, I plotted out all the filming locations for Rocky. Instead of on paper like I did for Ghostbusters, I did it all digitally here inside the Google Maps app. And another filming location rarely seen on YouTube, 99 East Noble Street just a little ways north of the Benjamin Franklin Bridge. It was the old Philadelphia Warehousing and Cold Storage Company warehouse that helped me find it, all because of this gutter, this green gutter that runs all the way down the side of the building. The beginning of the Rocky montage started right here with Rocky running across this lot, now storage bins once was railroad tracks and you can clearly see in the background the Benjamin Franklin Bridge as he's running this way railroad tracks used to be here and Rocky as you see runs right out this way into Columbus part of the railroad tracks are still here and I have to say this is right where Rocky ran as it curves around the building right there in the movie. That's pretty cool. Wow. Oh man, there's no way I'm taking that with me. Too bad this chain link fence is here in those storage containers. Or I would run right through that lot like Rocky did. I'm on the other end of Noble Street and here's a better angle. Rocky would have been running this way. The Ben Franklin and then the warehouse right over there. He was obviously closer to that side of the street near Columbus. This old factory is an impressive piece of 20th century architecture. Actually, it could be a little bit of the 19th century. It looks so old. I definitely love seeing stuff like this. Further up the lot, 
You can actually see this building in the background when Rocky is running, this long one right here. It's an old boathouse, present day, Dave and Buster's, of all places. For our next filming location, welcome to South Philly, to Cantrell Street and South 12th Street. This is where Rocky took that stroll and gave a lecture to Little Marie. The scene begins when you see Rocky walk out of this dark alleyway. And he goes up the sidewalk here, and on the corner used to be a convenience store in the movie, I believe it's called Atomic Subs, and that's where he passes Little Marie. And Rocky got about a halfway here until he turned back and came up back to Marie and confronted her, and then asked her to come along with him and he walked her all the way home which was this way and Rocky and Marie are walking down South 12th Street. Hey, you know when I was your age there was only one girl in the whole neighborhood that talked like that, you know what I mean? That was it, just one. I'm gonna pause up here to show you another scene. If you remember Rocky and Polly walk right here and those kids are playing stickball and that was on Thanksgiving, even though Polly's house was miles away from this location in North Philly. This is the spot where they begin to walk down the street. Dirt dirty, they think you're cute. But after a while, you get a reputation. That's it. You get no respect. You understand? You get no respect. Okay, so here's where Rocky and Marie turn the corner. And if you look, those pylons are still there. They're painted a little different color than they were in 1976, though. Then they begin walking up along this wall to right here, and they go through this gate. And my friends, that is the same gate. 1976, 2020. We're locked out and we can't cross the lot like they did, but I'm gonna go across the street and come into the parking lot, but there's the old church. And across there is little Marie's house, much ahead, my friends. All right, so this is the camera angle when it cuts to them walking through this side of the gate. The telephone pole's still there, this wall, the fence, and the apartment windows match up exactly still. And then they come across the parking lot. There used to be a building here, it's long gone. Then they start walking this way. <laughs> so cool to be doing this. I couldn't wait to do this. I love this movie. Here's where they exit the parking lot and head across the street to Marie's house. I always remember Rocky say, if you hang with yo-yos, you get yo-yo friends. <laughs> he was saying a lot of crazy stuff during this walk and talk. It's one of my favorite scenes of the movie. The fight scenes are excellent, but it's some of those little, little Rocky moments that I really appreciate. 1124 Jackson Street. Little Marie's place. The brick of 1124 has since changed since the time of the movie, but you can confirm the apartment from looking next door, especially down here. These bricks are exactly the same. 1124 on the door, as we see in the movie. I really thought Rocky thought that Marie was about to say thank you for the advice, but instead, you know what she said? Screw you, creepo. Hey, Rocky. Screw you, creepo. And that's when the sad Rocky music comes in and Rocky crosses back across the street and you see him punch at this pole. Well, you can't come to Philadelphia without having a Philly cheesesteak. And why not come to Pat's King of Steaks? World famous. Hey. Rocky came here. There's actually a little marker in the sidewalk that shows where Rocky stood on November 21st, 1976. And this is where he stood next to Gazzo. And Gazzo gifted him 500 bucks to help with his training. It's a hard spot to match up because 
this has obviously changed, but there's the where he stood and the trash can was actually right there. It's a it's a different trash can now though. But the camera angle was about right there. Boom boom. And here it is. One cheesesteak with whiz and onions. It's cold out here, so this is actually gonna be really refreshing. Mm. Oh my god, that's good. Yo, Adrian. I don't know if I can do it, Adrian. I don't know if I can finish going the distance. I've hustled to make this video and I just feel like there's something still missing. I need your blessing. We did it! We created the Rocky filming locations with the help of your spirit and the people watching. I got it done. We went the distance. We tracked down the Rocky filming locations. We did it. Yo, Adrian. You too, Polly. You too. Yo, Polly. I hope you finally got a job with Gazo in heaven. And I couldn't have done it without you guys either. So thank you all for watching. This was one of the most fun adventures I have taken so far. It was a dream come true and a blessing to be able to put it out there for anyone to watch. Anyone can do this. They just have to have hope and heart, just like Rocky taught us, just like Sylvester Stallone taught us by writing a movie in three days and making it for $75,000. And look what it spawned. Look at all the inspiration that has come right here out of Rocky from the city of brotherly love from Laurel Hill Cemetery down to the Rocky Steps and out to Kensington to 1818 Tusculum. I'm happy to say I was able to live Rocky. I couldn't have done it without you. I can't express that enough. Yo Adrian. Yo my friends time to head back to Tampa. I'll see you in the next video. Come along with me. Make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell. That way you know where I'm going next. And I ain't going anywhere without you, my friends. There's much ahead. Well, Rock, it looks like you're going to have to find another spot to hide your chair. Your tree is gone. But they've replaced it with another tree right in the same spot, 
right there to the right of the flag. I guess the old tree was just too old and rotting out and they took it down. But life has spawned and began growing in its place again. Well, Sly, I hope you enjoyed this one, buddy. You're one of my heroes.